Hey guys, just waking up here. Uh, it's 5 o'clock in the morning and it is 13 degrees, excuse my fingers, 13 degrees Fahrenheit. Full time living in a car. I want to share my morning with you. And this is uh, says love. Virginia is for love. This is the Virginia rest stop off uh, I-95. Uh, and this is where a lot of people uh, spend the night uh, or stop and sleep, catch their breath and get back on I-95. So I just wanted to share that with you. Virginia is a place for lovers. Just want to share that with you as I wake up this morning and start my day. And I don't know if you can hear that, but there's ice that's formed in my water jug overnight. So it's so cold last night, ice is formed in my water jug. So this is the Walmart right off I-95. I made a turn off uh, so I could pick up some Starbucks here. And you see in front of this Walmart, they got a bunch of uh, RVs. This is a Class A uh, towing their uh, car. Oh, no, it's a uh, yeah, that's a Class A. And um, then you have another Class A towing a Jeep Wrangler. And then you have a, a Class C here, just by itself. And then you have a bunch of cars. And then up there you have a bunch of uh, just big rigs, uh, big rig truckers. Um, but I just want to show you, so it's a Walmart uh, that allows overnight parking. And then I'm headed uh, over there to Starbucks to get my daily Starbucks. So here I am in front of Starbucks. I'm going to go in there and get a, a small pike with cold soy milk on the side. And then have my uh, morning banana and health bar. So I'm back in my car getting ready to have my coffee. I got my banana and my health bar. You know, and that's my morning flow on the road uh, as I head back up north. But, you know, like I said, before I get up at 5 a.m. I slept eight hours last night. And I'm inspired. I'm already where I want to be. Moving outside at Starbucks, getting my day going, getting myself worked up and encouraged. Most people that give you advice are miserable. If I listen to other people, I would be just as miserable as them. A lot of people told me when I first started, oh, you don't want to, you don't want to sell your house, house and live in a car. You don't want to do that. And they're miserable. Then when I started doing it, I'd say, oh, it's only going to last a couple months. Then you're going to get tired of it. It's almost a year now, and I'm still happy, and I'm still inspired. I'm still sleeping eight hours a night. I'm still waking up on time. I'm still living a positive, productive life, working, being engaged, doing creative things that I love. Everyone has an opinion on what you should do, but you should ask them, what are you doing with your life, and are you happy? What are you doing with your life, and are you happy? And if you are happy about it, you should share your life rather than to tell someone else what to do with their life. Because the reality is most people won't wake up till late in the morning, early afternoon, and then they're going to have to pound you know, sugar and donuts down their throat from all the other bullshit they ate last night. People will lead you astray. They'll tell you you can eat the wrong things. They'll tell you you can hang with the wrong people. You can drink the wrong things and you can live the wrong way. Not because you should live that way, but only because misery loves company. Never join them. Never forget it. Stay inspired.